It's evangelism aimed at an audience that preachers may not be reaching. We have to win this young hip-hop generation for Jesus Christ, and what we use is hip-hop music. Our music needs to change. Somebody doesn't want to be a player. Somebody don't want to be a thug. Somebody wants to live right. See ya! Help us reach a lost generation before it's too late. You've been hurt by someone. Forgive them as an act of faith. Don't wait on inspirational forgiveness. That means you have to be inspired to forgive. You got to feel something in the in in, 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 in your spine. You got to shake and jig. Oh, yeah. oh, there it is. I, I must forgive now. No. No, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about forgive as an act of faith. You don't forgive them because you feel like it. You forgive them because you've made a decision to forgive. Everybody who's ever hurt you before, you have got to make a decision to forgive them. Forgiveness is a decision, it's not a feeling. Forgiveness is a decision, it is not a feeling. So you don't go around saying, well, I don't feel like forgiving them. No, you make a decision to forgive them. You know, sometimes we have thoughts, and we I know I have, that if they just apologize or give me an explanation, if they just change, then I'll forgive them. Don't hold your breath. But if you can only forgive them when they've changed, then you didn't forgive. God wants us to forgive, give forgiveness. But what some people do is they want to force sell, sell forgiveness. In other words, you got to do something before I forgive you, and that's not that's not scriptural. You got to apologize. You got to recognize it was wrong. I mean, if they never apologize. God is still holding you responsible to give them something. Not sell them something. <laughs> you know, we've all been there. I'm going to see if they change. I ain't forgiven. Look at them. They ain't changed a bit. Look, you still the same. Forgiveness is not for sale, according to the Bible. It's free. Such and so, such and so did this when I was growing up. And, and I just can never forgive them. And uh, you're, you're putting yourself in trouble. God didn't forgive you when you changed. God didn't say, well, I'm going to see if you, when you change, then I forgive you. No, God forgave you first, then you changed. I'm glad he forgave me. And you know it's the, it's the goodness of God that's, that, that moves you to change. It's the fact that God forgave you while you were the mess that you were in. And then once he forgave you, that mess started turning into a masterpiece. And I dare you for sale your forgiveness when God gave forgiveness to us. I ain't gonna forgive my boy because he's just, just done too much. You know? I'm, just, I'm just not gonna forgive him. He done hurt me too much. Uh-uh. I don't forgive him anyway. Get you forgiving him. That's gonna cause a change. If I set yourself up for further, go ahead and forgive and go on. At least you won't have to come back to that same pain again. So forgive whoever has hurt you. And don't ask for an explanation and don't ask for an apology. Don't go in talking about, now if you apologize, I forgive you. You don't need anybody to treat you a certain way in order to feel better. I'm going to say that two more times. You don't need anybody to treat you a certain way in order to feel better. No, that's been a deception. No, you don't need anybody to treat you a certain way in order to feel better. It's when it doesn't matter anymore what they do because your freedom comes from within that you will be free. You got to get yourself in a point where it doesn't matter what they do to me. I'm going to be free because my deliverance comes on the inside. Now you act the fool all you want to. I'm free. I have forgiven you. God has forgiven you. I be free. I believe I might be in somebody Kool-Aid here tonight. Think about that. We've always allowed our feelings to be based on how people treat us. Always. Because we won't discipline our emotions to a point where we can just kind of go on and do what we need to do. If we let what other
others say about us matter, then we don't have our freedom. And they have control to determine how we feel. And that's just not, you can't let that happen. You can't let co-workers who, who maybe whisper about you in the, in the break room, you can't let family members, you can't, you know, somebody misunderstood you and, all right, so I'm just, I'm just misunderstood. If they ever ask me, I tell them what the real deal is. But I'm not going to be going around here, you know, graying up before my time and tripping out and I can't sleep at night because I let it matter. I've got the shield of faith. I've already set my will to forgive you. And I think if we, if we really get real with it, I think forgiveness benefits you much more than it benefits the person you're forgiven. Forgiveness is a, is a decision, not a feeling. This is Cheryl. I'm in Denver, and God has just blessed you. Thank you so much. This is Joshua. Oh, my goodness, you blessed me with that broadcast. You don't know how you blessed me. And this is something you can battle the world with, man. I showed this to one of the pastors. They love it. My name is Bruce. I just want to say thank you, sir. I really love these sermon songs. I have all you want, you know, Pastor Jones and Crepel and all them. Basically, man, I just want to tell you that this has been a blessing in my life. I know sermon songs and life radio and all that stuff is bumping, and you getting your pub. But, man, it was a walk away if you come out here on the West Coast. For real.